Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, this is Heavy Z Fishing. All right, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in on this lovely Texas afternoon. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video. You'll notice that today, or as of this moment, I am not on the water. Uh, I hope to be on the water shortly, but I wanted to make a quick video because we got a few little treats in from Tackle Warehouse. Very excited. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing. And so yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. Before I get into it, um, please like, comment, subscribe. Think it's gonna help the channel out quite a bit. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I've gotten a few other fishing videos in, but just we may do some shorts on them because it was just a grind, you know. But I hope to get back on it. The temperatures here, this is September the 10th. Temperatures here are getting like 60 in the morning. Uh, so it's been doing that all week. We'll see. We'll see how that does. And yes, you could see uh, behind me here, you can see there's a bass right there through the walls. Yeah, she's a beast. All right, so let's dive off into this box and uh, leave a comment below if uh, there's any specific shop videos. This is my shop at my place. If there's anything you want to see, if you want to tour the shop, if you want... I probably need to do a video on my kayak. It's, it's a pretty pretty cool rig, how I got it set up and the kayak rack system and all that. I mean, I could do baits, trailers, knots, uh, rods to reels, what line I like to use, all that stuff, anything. And so if there's anything anybody would like to see, just please leave a comment and we'll get after it. Um, bench made bug out. Let's dive into this first box here. Let's show you the box first. Decent size. So, I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend, but was the Labor Day sale at Tackle, Tackle Warehouse, so it was, I think it was 15% off. So I had to take a little bit of advantage. First off, what do we got here? What do we got here? I don't care about that nonsense. Yes, put these guys on the side. So first off, woo! Six cents fishing. Why does the screen do that? Six cents fishing is at it again. The 5.2 inch soft jerk bait in gizzard shad. Uh, I haven't put that many videos out there, but one thing about me is there are, well, there's two baits for sure that you're gonna find in the kayak 24-7, 365. That's some form of jig. And that's chatterbait. Coming in third, probably gonna be a soft jerkbait, a flute, flute, blah, 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 a fluke. So we're gonna go ahead and bust into this package. Oh my goodness. I might be throwing this this evening. Look at that. Look at the colorations, gizzard, shad. And I love these things. I've always thrown flukes, but these got the, the fins, the dorsal fins. It's got a fin on top with the little, um, you can split the fins open. There's a little slot right there for your hook to hide in. It's great. Split tail. I've been throwing the bluegill here lately because that's all I have. Really good action on these things. So anyway, there it is. The flush by six cents. All right. And we've got more loudness bread. <laughs> Another pack of flush. Gizzard shad. Okay, we got, uh, yep, been running low on this. This is the braid I like to throw. This is Berkley X5. I've never had an issue with it, uh, and I enjoy it, and this is 65 pounds. More six cents, all right, very excited. All right, so, of course, when you're throwing jigs and chatterbaits and whatnot, you need a good trailer, right? And I, I'm a big connoisseur of craw baits as well. And I love everything that Six Sense does. I just haven't tried out their a lot of their soft plastics, especially their creature baits. So this is the Stroker Craw in the 3.3 in Nirvana. Very excited about this. 
This is gonna look great. Oh my goodness, look at that. So you got a little, looks like a little black and blue. I don't know if that helps. Black and blue, black and green and blue, and then you got more of a more of a brown undertone. I can't tell if the lighting's in, in here is good or not, but look at those kickers. Ooh. So that's called the Nirvana. This will be my first time trying out Six Senses uh, creature baits. So I got Stroker Crawl here. Oh. They make these packages kind of dummy proof. I'm kind of a dummy and it's hard to get back in there. All right, so we got one of those. Looks like two pa two packs of the Stroker Crawls and Nirvana. Let's angle this guy down a little bit. The Nirvana there. What else do we got here? Oh, the Prawn 4.2. Uh, I saw this color and I had to have it. This is also by Six Cents. Oh, this color is called Mud Belly Burst. And it looks like bluish, blackish glitter on one side and then completely different brown on the belly side. It looks so awesome. And so the prawn, you ask, it looks like you're not gonna get as much action. So I'm thinking, uh, could be a jig trailer uh, when the water temp gets uh, a lot colder. And then also next year, uh, Great punch bay, or just a Texas rig. So here we go. There is the prawn 4.2. And see how that color different, differentiation? But that looks amazing. And that's a 4.2. Dude, that is screaming a good punch bay. I mean, yeah. Six cents. Looks like I'm gonna have to get some more stuff when my wife is at work. Okay, so we got two packs of the prawns and the mud belly, and here we go. I lost the packaging. I lost the bag that this was in. I guarantee you, damn dog ran off with it. Hey, you fools. Who ran off with it? All right. Nobody ran off with it. Apologize to the dogs. So two packs of the prawns and the mud belly. Oh my goodness, and what do you know it? More flushes from the Sixth Sense. These are in watermelon red. Uh, so very excited about the watermelon red. Really good color at um, Lake Fork. So two packs of those. And two packs of the Gary Yamamoto Zekos. If you don't know the Zeko, Brent Height, I believe his name is, the guy that designed the Chatterbait, the Jackhammer. And he designed these baits specifically for the jackhammer, for the trailer. And I like to throw bluegill colors a lot in the summer. And this is what, I mean, there, it's just a four inch and it looks beautiful. I don't have a jackhammer around here. Anyway, you'll see it, uh, you'll see it soon enough. But I like to throw these predominantly as my trailer and you'll see me mix it up with different trailers too okay so that's it for that so like i said i spent about a hundred dollars on this stuff with the with the discount so it's always nice to get a few extras now what i wanted to show we got two more things so the other thing in here big thing um bass fishing any kind of fishing out on the water out on the kayak visibility is key especially if you've got i have sensitive blue eyes okay i wear sunglasses 24 7 sunglasses and hats when i'm on the kayak it's always like this to help flatten the bill a little bit try to keep that sun out of my face because it'll blind me man i've had costas i've had waterland which is uh there in conjunction with six cents and i love them love them just i mean dropping the 150 to 250 dollars for a pair of sunglasses to me and i've just recently lost two pair of waterland you know uh one pair of dog ate my fault the other pair i had them looped in um, the waistband of my swim trunks and i bent over and they fell into the water 
my fault again. But nevertheless, I've lost them. So I've ran across these. I have one pair, loved them so much, had to get another one. These are the Strike King. They don't have, I believe this is called the Clinch. Let's look on the tags here. I wanna say this is the Clinch. I'm pretty sure it's the Clinch, but it, of course it's not even gonna say. All right, so I'm not even seeing it. Anyway, oh, made in China, that's depressing. Clinch S11401 by Strike King. Boom, look at these bad boys, all right? We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a live, well, this isn't live, but we are gonna do, we're gonna throw these bad boys on. Not only is the polarization great, the lenses quality and the overall quality of the glasses seem really good so far and they just look so awesome. I mean, these things are sweet and hey, $40. $40, I can buy four or five pair for the price of Costas or Waterlands. So I am all in. They also have blue lenses. Uh, I went with the, I don't even know what you want to call this color, but I'm liking it so far. So there you go. Strike Kings, I, I highly recommend the Clinch if you like the, big, the bigger style too. All right. Now it is on to the grand finale. The bazooka! Look at this thing. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? You guessed it. So, you're like, hey, I thought you only wanted to spend $100. Yeah, well, I did on that order, and then I ended up maybe drinking one or two or 18 beers one night, and um, that's a lie. That's a lie. I did not drink 18 beers. But I did drink a few beers, and when I start drinking a few beers, I get on Tackle Warehouse, and I was like, you know what? I need a new chatterbait rod because all I have is the six foot 11 loose custom speed stick, which is great, don't get me wrong. And that's great for fishing in close quarters, boat docks, when you need to be more accurate. But I needed something to zing that chatterbait out there. And here she is. And I wanted to do all this unboxing this afternoon because I plan on loading everything up and, and, and getting a few hours in on the lake. Uh, this evening so here we go and if you know if you've seen some of my uh, well I've only got one video out there made in China that's depressing um, anyway here it is so these rods I am a huge huge fan of I can pull it out like this so I can check every guide on the way out. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So far we're looking good. Then we just gotta check and make sure it's the right, that they sent me the right rod. There it is, and we're out. Okay, tips look good. Guides look good. Let's make sure everything looks good. What do we got here? We are rocking the 7.4 medium, heavy, moderate, fast. This is the Savage Battletech by Savage Gear Rods. And if you can see this thing, 7.4, if you can tell the color, yeah, it's OD green. It is OD green and look at these grips. Dude, these grips are sick. And when the rod, when the reel seats in there and you grab a hold of that thing, I mean, it is freaking awesome. Oh yeah, oh, that is gonna be, I've got to get a bait. This is chatterbait, so this is long distance. I'm gonna have this on my um, dial up to uh, Tutula CT, I believe it's a CT, and uh, in a six, three to one gear ratio. And I believe, I have been throwing Yozuri top, Yozuri top knot, but I am making the switch over to Seaguar, uh, the red label Seaguar, 
But right now, I think the reel has 16 pound Yozuri. Yozuri, why is it so difficult? Yozuri top knot. So, man, that is awesome. That is awesome. The Savage Battletech, 7.4, medium heavy, moderate fast. These things are awesome. Well, anyway, I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to Heavy Z Fishing today. Um, please, like I said again, like, comment, subscribe, ask a question, tell me what you want to see. Uh, but I got to get out of here, get dogs to feed, got to let them out, and then I am... I've got, you can see behind me, I've got all these rigged up, all five. This is number six, because we're changing the game a little bit, getting into fall fishing. But uh, I need to get the um, need to get the reel on this, get the line in there, get the chatterbait hooked up, and then it is to the lake. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.